Three. Four. Four. Ah. Three. Ah. Eight. Nine. And your goal is just to stay fit, stay in shape, stay healthy, then you don't need much. Don't be fooled that you need to overtrain. Six pack, big back, big chest. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. To all the people who are YouTubers and viewers, welcome back to a new video on Ripright HD. We're going to be showing you five exercises or push-ups how to get get a close-up on that man remember when i had the small chest i'm a little bit eye right, right now we're going to show you how to get those chest gains five push-up variations 20 reps a piece so first and foremost we're going to start with the number one for me as far as the chest is concerned is the diamonds <coughs> one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right, guys. So we know that the chest is comprised of three different muscles, three different parts of the chest. So today we're gonna be trying to hit every single part of the chest chest muscles the, the pectoralis so that was the first variation we're going to give you those diamonds right so our second variation we're going to deal with more of the side of the chest and we're going to do what we call archer push-ups but we're going to stay to one side five one side five the next side five and five you ready here we go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Woo! That fell out of sudden. I'm sweating yet. <sighs> so we 40 down, guys. Three more variations. This is one of my favorites to do that decline. So with the decline, we're gonna be hitting more of that upper chest. I would go over here to get a better decline and then go diamonds this is gonna be tough two four six eight ten two Four, six, eight. Look at this back though. You got it? Two more. So remember with calisthenics, is compound movements. So you're gonna be hitting the chest just with push-ups, but don't forget, you, you could also be hitting the triceps depending on the variations. You could also be hitting the shoulders and you could also be hitting the back. It's not primarily. So most push movements we know is gonna target the chest, especially when it comes to the push-ups. So let me see that. Who's that calling? Yo, what's up, Steve? I'm gonna call you right back. I'm filming. All right, bro. All right, so right now we're gonna get into the the um the fourth variation okay right the fourth one yep so we did all right so we're gonna get into hitting those shoulders and also the chest let's move here oh no i can do it here can i no i won't it would be too close how we do it on the side 
We're doing on a light pole. Taps, wall holes, wall taps, or wall holes. Make sure you're far enough like here. So you get that full extension. One. Let me get a count, train. Two. Ha. Three. Ha. Four. Ha. Five. Ha. Six. Ha. Seven. Ha. Eight. Nine. Ha. Ten. Hot push. Eleven. Twelve. Ha. Thirteen. Ha. Fourteen. Ha. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! As I said, compound movement. So, hitting your chest, we also gonna hit the shoulders with that variation. And when you're hitting the shoulders like that, it makes all the rest of your push-ups even more difficult. So we're gonna go through here, back and forth. We're gonna try to get a 20 rep count to make it 100 push-ups. Five variations, 20 count. Diamond wide. But now check it out. We're gonna be inclined. So with the diamond, we're gonna be hitting the chest, but we're gonna be hitting a different type of the chest. And the wide, we're gonna be hitting the chest, but a different type of the chest because we're doing them incline. Uh, see the grass here, but we'll stay with it. We get a count. One, two, one, two, one, two to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, <coughs> Woo! 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh! Shoulders is on fire. Shoulders is done. Shoulders is done on 100 push ups. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ah. Real quick, guys, you don't need too much. You got a lot of rep guys, um, a lot of guys in the calisthenics just coming in. They think you need to do the max. Let me tell you something, if you don't have a goal, if you're not looking to get 100 push-ups unbroken, if you're not in a tournament at comp, if you don't got personal goals, I wanna do 1,000 pull-ups. I, I wanna be able to do 50 pull-ups and then a muscle-up without leaving the ball. If you don't got those type of goals and your goal is just to stay fit, stay in shape, stay healthy, then you don't need much. Don't be fooled that you need to overtrain. You only need to train hard and overtrain like that if you got goals. If you just, you know, if you got those type of goals where you're trying to accomplish something. But if you, your, your accomplishment or your goals it sounds like I'm going in circles, but if your accomplishment and goals is for staying healthy, probably living longer by laws to Allah's permission, then you don't need to do much. Y'all understand what I'm saying? OG Shakti. Slow reps. You know, if you want OG Shakti style, isometrics. But for me, I do fast reps, slow reps, low reps, high reps, short reps, mid-range reps, as well as full range reps. So tell me what y'all think. Stay tuned, stay ripped. Six pack, big back. Big chess games. Indeed, in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh. <laughs>